1960s, following the Sharpeville massacre. He sat on the National Executive Committee of the ANC for 20 years and was considered by the white minority regime as one of their most dangerous opponents. Why the use of police force onto the teeth against two, three thousand miners who were not occupying mining property or territory, were not occupying any strategic point, were not blocking the national highway or any minor road. They were seated at a distance from any, any key point. The high police visibility and presence will remain uh, until the situation is completely stable. And currently we are seeing a sort of a standoff here between police and mine workers. What are you hoping to accomplish? Well, this is part of our phased approach um, in terms of discussing and negotiating with the protesters. Uh, and that's the process that we're busy with at this stage. I'm not at all sure why they brought in a hostage negotiator to try and negotiate with 3,000 strikers. It does seem uh, bizarre, uh, particularly as the strikers who always said, we want to negotiate, but we want to negotiate with management. Uh, they are coming. Okay. They're they coming, are coming forward. We've got five people coming forward. They are coming, Colonel. Okay. Talk to them and tell them, please, they must leave any weapons there. We're going to talk without weapons. It's our promise, and nothing will happen to them. The National Police Commissioner ordered Lonman to produce photographs of the demonstrators. She then ordered Lonman to identify the ringleaders. I need to indicate that the management did 